GCSE Biology, Syllabus Statement 225. And here we're understanding the energy requirements that vary with activity level, age, and pregnancy, three different factors. On our graph here, the y-axis is a measure of the energy required by an individual per day. And we'll do this in kilojoules. So approximately we've got down here at 5,000 kilojoules, 10,000 kilojoules, and up here at 15,000 kilojoules. Across the base we have the age, so we could start off with um, a baby, a toddler, a teen, an adult, and the elderly, like this. So the general trend is that we'll see an increase in the energy demands per day, but this will drop into old age. So the trend would approximately run something like uh, this. So as we get older, we require more energy, except once we enter our elderly years where all the energy demands will drop. However, this will be modified in this region here. If we just put another curve over the top like this. And this curve here is suggesting things like the person is involved in sport, that the work that they do is manual, so it's physically demanding work as opposed to sitting at a desk. And so we can see here that the energy demands per day will be pushed up in all age groups if we participate in regular sport or we are working in manual labor. The additional version of this of course is that for women who are in pregnancy the energy demands on their bodies will also increase as they grow and develop the fetus. Students should now seek out specific values for the energy that demands of persons at these age groups here and for the effect of sport, manual physical labour and pregnancy.